Hi, in this video, I'm going to talk about cycling and cycling dependent kinases. And what are cyclines? So, cyclines are basically some proteins which helps in cell cycle regulation with their partners cycling dependent kinases. As the name suggests, cycling dependent kinases are actually kinase enzymes. So, their key role is to phosphorylate downstream proteins. But something special about these CDKs are that cycling dependent kinase can only phosphorylate its downstream target proteins when it is bound with its partner cycling. So this uh, feature is actually important for CDKs, cycling dependent kinases. Now let's see from where the cycling name came from. So the cycline is actually relating to circ uh, cycle or circle. So what happens is that these proteins undergoes a cycle of synthesis and degradation during each round of cell cycle, which we would see in details in a moment. So that is why its name is actually cycline, cause it is produced in a cyclic manner and also degraded in a cyclic manner. So from here, cycline name came and cyclines can interact with their specific cycline dependent kinase. So for each cycline, there are specific CDK partners for them. And we would see in a moment what are the specific partners for each cyclines and which cyclines are used for, uh, for which part of the cell cycle. So if we zoom here, so this diagram shows the cycline and CDK activity and uh, in different type of cell cycle phases. So as you can see in the G1 phase, the level of G1 cycline gradually increases and reaches its peak at the end of G1. And after the G1, the level of G1 cycline would gradually decrease. So the cycline activity of G1 cycline is actually restricted to these uh, G1 phase. After the G1 phase, you won't see any activity. So the cycline, G, uh, cycline for G1 phase is only active during the G1 phase. As you can see in the S phase cycline, it's also produced at the end of G1 or in the beginning of the S1 and it's active, most active during the S phase and after the S phase, its level again falls. And simply for the mitotic cycline and uh, for other cyclines, this rule applies. So let's see which are the partner CDKs for different kind of cyclines. So first, very important thing is G1 cyclines. The most important G1 cycline is cycline D, especially the cycline D1. And it's very important and in a separate video, I would be discussing why these cycline D is very important. And cycline D has a CDK partner. Either it is CDK4 or it's CDK6. So it can bind with CDK4 or 6 and this whole complex, cycline CDK complex can perform its job. And after a G1 phase, we would talk about the S phase cyclines, the cyclines that are required for S phase. So there are two basic cycline and uh, CDK complexes that are required in S phase. One uh, is cycline uh, E and CDK2. Another is cycline A and CDK2. And another cycline is m phase cycline, which is cycline B and CDK1. So it is actually activated during M phase and it's useful for the reactions and the, uh, the things that are happening in the M phase of the cell cycle. So cycline P and CDK2 performs that kind of job. And in a moment we would uh, see in details how these type of cyclines are regulated. So let's take an example from cycline B and CDK1. So if we zoom over here, so we have our cycline B. Remember, cycline B is actually the M phase cycling so it's required during the mitotic phase and also the mitotic phase cell entry so the cycling uh, B binds with it with its CDK partner which is CDK1 so 
now it's known as cyclin B C D K two complex. Here it's represented as like it, but this complex is not activated all the time of the cell cycle. It's this complex, whatever you can see here, it's only active during the M phase or the late G1 and the beginning of the M phase. But other part of the cell cycle, you can see it's not active. It's not active. And at the end of G2 and the beginning of M, it's became active again. So how that is regulated? This is our question. So actually there are other type of kinases and phosphatase which actually regulate the function of the cyclin CDK complexes. One such is CDK activating kinase which is a actual kinase enzyme which would actually phosphorylate the CDK. So it turns out that this CAC or CDK activating kinase phosphorylates the CDK1 at its threonine 61 residue and forms a activating phosphorylation. So it's an activating kinase. But another type of kinase, it's inhibitory kinase. They actually phosphorylate, but after phosphorylation, the function of the CDK is abolished. So the inhibitory kinase, one of the popular inhibitory kinase is V1 kinase. So V actually phosphorylates in threonine 14 and tyrosine 15 residue. So there is an activate, activatory phosphorylation by CAC kinase and there are two inhibitory uh, phosphorylation by the V1 kinase. And these type of, uh, in normal cases what happen, the inhibitory kinase, the, uh, the phosphorylation by inhibitory kinase is overriding the activatory phosphorylation in the normal case. That is why what happens in every phase of the cell cycle, the cyclin BCDK1 complex is not active. So it's only active when uh, uh, it's in the M phase or at the end of the G2. So what happens at the end of G2 or M phase so that our CDK1 and cyclin B complex get activated? So at the end of C2, another key player is CDC25. So CDC25, it's actually a phosphatase enzyme. As the name suggests, phosphatase would cleave the phosphate groups and which phosphate groups would it cleave? It would cleave these inhibitory phosphate groups and now we have only a activatory phosphate group over here. So now this cyclin B and CDK1 complex is active and it can perform its job uh, and because it has a uh, activatory phosphorylation by this CAC1 kinase and there is no more inhibitory phosphorylation present in these uh, complex. In this, uh, in this way, the cyclin B and CDK1 uh, functions. Same type of regulation is valid for other type of cyclins such as cyclin D and CDK4 and all other type of cyclins. But for simplicity, I have shown you only one example how a cyclin P and CDK1 which is actually a M phase cyclin is regulated. So hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe for more video. Thank you.